I'm fucking infamous. I'm one of the most notorious slashers in history, and I don't want to give that up. I am Chucky, the killer doll. You son of a bitch! What have you done to me? You got your wish. You're mine now, doll. And if you know what's good for you, you are going to love, honor, and obey. Bang, 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 bang. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back and to be doing my very first Halloween look. I'm doing a collaboration of Chucky with my friend Mariana. I'll leave her version of Tiffany down in the description box below. You guys should definitely go check it out. We had so much fun filming these looks. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. So I'm starting out this look with my MAC lip pencil in Current, and I'm basically just tracing where I want my scars to be. I think Chucky's original scars are on his right side of his face, but most of my scars are just going to be on the left side of my face because I had some beauty marks that I wanted to cover up. So I'm just placing all my scars carefully, also going off a reference picture of his, but also just going with what I think looks good as well. Then I'm just going to kind of measure out my cotton ball before gluing them down. After I like what I see, I'm going to then grab my Elmer's glue and just kind of retrace the scars with the glue. This look was actually inspired by the YouTuber Jordan Hands. She did a really great Chucky tutorial with silicone makeup, so I decided since I could not get my hands on special effects makeup that I would just recreate this look using Elmer's glue and cotton balls. And I'm actually really proud of the way it turned out. So. I guess an FYI to those who want to get into special effects makeup, I suggest you guys starting off using, you know, toilet paper, tissue, cotton balls, and just some Elmer's glue, and it works the same way. Right here, I'm basically just tracing out um, the outer layer of the cotton ball, and I'm using a beauty sponge. You can go ahead and purchase these at any beauty supply store, but um, you want to make sure you want to blend out um, the edges of the cotton ball to kind of smooth out to the rest of your skin so this really helps right here I'm just taking my cosmetic spatula and I'm just lifting up the edges so that it can look like a deeper a deeper cut and then just also smoothing out whatever accident I may have caused right there Then I'm taking more glue and I'm just going to kind of retrace the rest of my scars. I'm also making new ones here above the eyebrow because um, Chucky has a few coming out of his original scar around his eye as well. And some of these scars you'll see, I'm just going to let them dry up and just act as a a bumpy layer of skin and some I will be placing more cotton balls like I'm doing here. Then again taking my spatula to just lift up the edges and smoothing it out as well. Also fun fact this video took me about three different times to film. Third time's a charm. Placing some more cotton balls See right there, I wanted to also cover up my Marilyn Monroe beauty mark I have on my upper left lip. So that's kind of why I decided to have most of my scars on my left side of my face. And then that awkward teardrop looking swirl, I decided to erase that because it looked awkward. Then I'm going into my Morphe 350 palette, just going to take a 
warm brown color. It has a little bit of an orange tint. Also, I'm running through my eyebrows pretty quickly. If you have not seen my eyebrow tutorial, I will have it listed down in the description box. After, I'm going to take some concealer on an e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm basically just going to clean up the eyebrow. And then I'll also be using that same concealer as an eyeshadow primer. Then I'm going to set that with a e.l.f. brush with just a white bone color from the same palette. Then I'm going to take a B81 brush and just take that same color that I used on my eyebrows, but just use it as my transition color. Then I'm going to take the B38 and just deepen it up with a more chocolatey brown. And then after that, I'm going back in with the B81 and just blending all that out. Then I'm going to be taking my MAC Studio Fix Foundation. And I'm just taking a Morphe brush. Um, it doesn't have a number or a name on it. It's part of their little makeup studio brushes. And this was like a rose gold collection, but it wasn't the rose gold collection, if that makes sense. If you guys have shopped at the Morphe store or part of any of their collections, I'm sure you know what I mean. Then I'm taking my Beauty Blender again and just blending out all of that foundation that I piled on my face. Then I'm going to be going into a ColourPop um, liquid lipstick. And so I'm just using that as just like a base. And then I'm going to be going in with the B84 just to blend that out. And then I'm going to be going in with ColourPop Creeper just to add a little bit more of a red tint. And then also taking that same B84 just to blend that out as well. After blending that out, I'm going to go into my Tardiest Pro Palette and I'm going to take the black color in the palette and just blend that out only in the edge area because I want to make it look like a deeper cut. And again, I'm using this B84 brush throughout this whole wound process. Then after to add a little bit more color, I'm going to be using ColourPop Mama. And then I'm going to be taking an e.l.f. eyeliner brush and taking that same color, Mama, by ColourPop. And I'm just going to basically trace over some areas that I put down my previous scars just to make them look a little bit more bloody. Just so it can look, you know, more fresh. More fresh of a cut. A lot of his cuts look very fresh and um, still have a lot of, you know, that bloody effect. So that's what I was trying to achieve here. Then I'm going to be going into my NYX white pencil and just basically trying to highlight the areas. And I'm going to be taking an e.l.f. contour mini brush just to blend it out a bit more. And helping that blend out blend out the edges like that with the with the red makeup that I put on before. It gives the illusion that the cuts are very irritated, as you would think they would be. Then I'm going into the M431 and also the Tartius Pro palette and just going into a cool tone brown to give it some dimension and some shadowing. And then I'm going back in with the Morphe B84 just to just to give a little bit more of an irritation look around the scars. And then I'm going back in with that NYX eyeliner pencil just to highlight around my actual eyelid. I want I know I did want the scar to look deep, but I wanted the eyeball part to still look like it was popping out. 
and I'm just taking um, some cosmetic lashes. I found these at the dollar store. I thought they were perfect for the Halloween look. Just layering some glue on it. Also, I know it looks like I just glued it and placed it on my eye, but now I did. I did wait a while for the glue to get tacky. I just don't show you guys that because I felt like this video was long enough. You didn't need to see that process. Then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape again and just to highlight. Then I'm going to be taking my Beauty Blender. And then to set all of that concealer, I'm going to be taking my Y11 by Morphe. And I'm just using the Tarte Setting Powder. And then also I'm going to be taking the BK26 Morphe Brush and just setting my whole face. And then I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soule just to contour and I'm using another, another Morphe brush from that rose gold um, small collection. After that I'm going to go into my Morphe blush palette and I'm going to take two colors and then I'm going to take my Y9 brush after going back into that BK26 just to blend everything out. Then I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Glow Kit palette, the Y14 brush. Then taking a, another Morphe Rose Gold brush and also dipping into the Tartius Pro palette. I'm taking a very dark chocolatey brown just to kind of um, trace my upper lash area and to give... Um, the illusion of a fuller lash and then I'm also going to use that same brush same color and just brush it along my lower lash line as well and then I'll be taking the B43 by Morphe just taking a cooler brown tone in the same palette then I'm going to be going in with my MAC lip pencil subculture just to outline my lips, I thought this MAC Flesh Pot nude would look great, but then again, you'll see that I suddenly noticed it was too pale for me. Then I'm going to go in with my um, Color Pop in the color Beeper, and then I'm just going to use my finger to blend. And then I'm going to be taking an M170-4. 5H brush by Morphe. Um, I'm just trying to shade in just an, more of an angry look to my upper eyebrows. Then I'm going to be using my eyelash glue. And what I use to give the illusion of staples is I'm using foil paper. And there's my friend Melissa. I think this was the most time consuming as well since I had a whole sheet of foil paper right in front of me. I just kind of had to cut a few pieces out like that. So you'll see later on when I believe I'm doing the chin area, I place the glue down first and then I place all the foils, which was actually quicker for me. And you can also tell that these foil pieces, they're not all the same shapes and sizes. I think it gave a good illusion to do it like that. And then I'm just cutting out bigger pieces of foil as well. In the reference picture I had of Chucky, he had these big chunks of metal sticking out of his head. I just used foil for those places for the for the look as well. And then that is it everybody. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Um again Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Look that way? I don't. Look yeah. back at it. <laughs> okay. Walk. Hold hands though. Because I got two cameras in my hand. Ready for this? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get married, Jesus. <laughs>